Now this is a question from conditional probability. You need to study the chapter and this topic very particularly, then only you will be able to do it. Otherwise, simply leave it. If you haven't done the topic of conditional probability in detail, you should not touch this question in the exam, as simple as that. So, right now, because this question is there in front of you, so what you should do is, study the chapter of probability, study the topic of conditional probability, then come back to this question. Now, what do we do for conditional probability questions? So, the required probability is equal to total probability of condition that comes in denominator. Now, this condition can happen in many ways. So, one of those ways will be asked and that will be in the numerator. So, probability of condition with that given event. I will explain that in this question. So, this is the process of conditional probability. This is also called Bayes theorem. But you do not need to get into the theoretical aspect. Just remember this. I will explain. I mean, this question itself will be the explanation of this topic. So, here it says there are three purses having 50 and 100 rupee notes. First purse has 400 and 250. So, let me put the names as purse, uh, names of purses as A, B, C. We have 100 rupee notes and 50 rupee notes. The first one has, first one has 400 rupee notes and two 50 rupee notes. So, total six. Total notes are six. Then B has 800 and 100 and 6 50 rupee notes, so total 14. And the third one has 600 and 750, so 13, right? It says if a note is drawn at random, so a note can be drawn from any of the purse and then within the purse, the probability of 50 rupees will be different and it is found out to be a 50 rupee note. Okay. So for this question, what is the probability that it is from third purse? So I'll just write, this is the condition, 50 coming 50 rupee, Appearing in the end is the condition and the purses are the events. So, in this question, the required probability will be calculated as total probability of getting a 50 rupee note. And from out of these, one of the particular cases, probability of 50 from third, the third purse is C. Okay, from the third purse will come in numerator. That's exactly what you are supposed to do. Okay, I'll write it further to make it more clear. Total probability of 50, it means probability of 50 from first plus probability of 50 from second. Okay. Then probability of 50 from third, right? This is the simple verbal complete explanation of the probability of the condition. One of these cases that is asked in the question will come in numerator. Probability of 50 from third. So in the exam, if you have studied this entire topic, if you have studied the topic, you will not write all this, you will not write all this, you will start straight away with the answer and that is, so first let's calculate the denominator. The probability that I choose the first purse is 1 by 3, is 1 out of 3. Then within that, the probability that I choose 50 rupee note is 2 by 6, right? Simple logic of probability, nothing great about that. Plus, if what is the probability that I choose the second purse? So, 1 out of 3 again, probability of choosing a purse is 1 by 3. But in the second one, the probability of getting a 50 rupee note is 6 by 14. Be careful of the total number of notes there. Probability that I choose the third purse is 1 by 3 again. And in that, probability of getting a 50 rupee note is 7 by 13. Right? Now, these are the three cases of getting a 50 rupee note in the end. One of these cases, that is the third purse, this will come in numerator. So, 1 by 3 into 7 by 13. Now, just carefully simplify. 1 by 3 is common and cancelled. This 1 by 3, 1 by 3 common and cancelled. Now, simplify carefully. I'll write it as 7 by 13. And here, I'll take LCM of 6. Oh, first of all, this 2 by 6 is 1 by 3. You just do the complete calculation as per your knowledge. So, 2 cancels 3 and 7. So, 3, 7, 13, LCM is 273, 
थ्री गोज सेवन इंटू थर्टीन नाइन्टी वन सेवन थ्री एंड थर्टीन थर्टी नाइन इंटू थ्री वन वन सेवन वन वन सेवन वन वन सेवन प्लस थर्टीन गोज सेवन इंटू थ्री इज ट्वेंटी वन इंटू सेवन इज वन फोर सेवन फेंटास्टिक so this 7 by 13 divided by this item so this comes out to be just be careful the space is a little less here so this is equal to 7 by 13 into 273 divided by 91 plus 117 plus 147 7 and 7 14 and 115 okay 14 and 115 and 11 26 and 9 35 so 355 Now thirteen cancels two seventy three twenty one times. So twenty one into seven is one four seven divided by three fifty five. So the final answer of this question is one forty seven upon three fifty five. Option three is the option C. Third option is the correct answer, right?